Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to convert the iProp 3D models in iClone 8 and Character Creator 4 to convert it from the complex 3D models to a simple 3D models. Some of the complex 3D models it involve a lot of meshes and in the same prop it involves a lot of texture images. How are we going to make the iProp to become just a simple mesh with just one texture? To make it really simple, to make it low poly and etc. So start from now, I'm going to show you step by step. First, you need to have the Character Creator 4. In Character Creator 4, you have the install LOD. The install LOD already in your Character Creator 4. It is at here, install LOD. But you need to load the props. And what do we call the iProps, the 3D models, the iProps. And nowadays in iClone 8 and Character Creator 4, actually you check the contents at here. This is the Character Creator 4. The prop folder is at here under the prop. You can see. For any of the prop. So now I'm going to find just a complex model, maybe a PBR. Right, let's say this the dining table, this is the character creator 4. And then you check your icon 8 to open the prop at the same place, the, I, the icon 8 under the prop. Here, under the PBR, actually they are the same folder. Right, you can see they are the, the same folder. Both are in. Just right click, find the file. You can see the locations. This is at the same locations. Both the iClone 8 and Character Creator 4 is going to load the same same locations. It's under C user public documents, revolution, revolution template props. Alright. As a demo, what do we call the iProp? We are going to load one. Let's say what you are going to load is load inside the character creator 4. Here, character creator 4. Alright, this is control G. You can see control G is to to toggle to to toggle the grid line and then control F control F is to toggle the information of the the scene and 3D model. Now just have a look dining table for example I drag the dining table into the scene. This is the character creator for it can load the the eye probe. Now the selected triangle it is 14,000 selected triangle that means let's say if I just press Q and just select a chair it, just one chair it is about 3,168 triangle this is the number of faces the higher it is then the higher the higher utilizations on your GPU and CPU and then you check the scene this is just a single prop the dining table and the rest are just the sub prop so now we are going to combine everything to become just one single mesh, just one single mesh. And then you can just check the, the material. Now under the material, you can see so many textures. That means just one prop have so many sub props, so many meshes and also so many materials. We are going to just combine all the material, just become one, and then all the sub props and all the meshes is going to combine to become just one mesh. So now, it is really simple. This is the character creator for it already loaded. Of course, you can drag in any of the FBX to make it become a prop as well. Now, we are going to do a demo on this. So now we are we already selected this as a dining table. It is going to select everything included the included the sub prop. Alright. 
if you click the dining chair it is just select the ones so we select everything the dining table everything click the install LOD and then click remeasure and here under the remeasure it is going to it is going to change and combine all the meshes to become one. The number of LED meshes, we are going to make it become one. And then the place count, you can change the maximum phase. All right, the whole prop, it is about 14,000. And of course the maximum phase, you can just put it 4,000 for example. We want to make it become a, a low poly model that combine it to become a single mesh. The mesh detail, it can be high, it can be normal. It is up to you to choose the big texture size. That means finally, it is going to bake all the texture to become just one single PNG match. The big, tex big texture size, you can make it big or small. This demo, I'm going to just choose a 1024. Then, target two preset, choose Maya, click export, and click OK. As demo, I'm going to just export it on my desktop. Here. And what is the name? The name I'm going to put it as dining table and chairs. Alright, then I click save. It is going to export as FBX version. And here you have to wait for a while because now it is exporting. Exporting as FBX. And this type of exporting the Insta LOD will consume some time because it is going to combine all the meshes to become one and it is going to bake all the material texture to become just one picture. So it takes some time to, to just process. You have to be patient. You just wait for a while until it finish. It is going to export an FBX file on the desktop at here. All right, now you can see done already and this is an fbx file if you double click the fbx file right now you can see it is an fbx file that exported right this fbx file i'm going to start a new project on my cc3 and also in my icons now i can drag in drag in the fbx file into the icon and now you can just check it selected it it already becomes just one single mesh check here the dining table this is just one prop one single mesh and check the material it already bake bake all the materials to become just one single picture it is really awesome and by using all this low poly what they call low poly because it is less than four thousand low poly low poly model with big material it is not going to consume a lot of the cpu the vram or your ram etc and of course you can save this as a prop if you don't want to save it as a prop the fbx is okay just drag in if you want to save it as a new prop it's okay just click here click the custom all right from the cc3 here of course you can make it drag in import as a prop here click the content click the custom yeah custom this is a prop custom choose the prop then click save all right the file name dining table and chairs click save it is inside here so next time you can just drag in to use it as a prop anytime you right click to find the file and it is your right click view with your large icon it is an iprop you can drag in into your icon as well right now we try in icon drag in both in icon and character creator 4 you can see this is a low poly model but actually it's okay if you feel you don't want to move the chair don't want to move any of the thing here you just want to have a fixed render and just put it far away from the screen it is undistinguishable you still can see 
right. Let's offer today about my tutorial on how to make the iprop 3D model from the complex to become just a simple 3D models. And the 3D models is just one mesh with just one single texture material. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial, if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3D modeling, 3D animation, and 3D game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial of sharing, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy! Happy animation and game developing. See you!